Hello everyone and welcome to another day of cooking. Today I'm gonna show you my personal recipe for spaghetti carbonara. For this recipe I'm gonna use some pancetta fumicata, but you can also use some uh, bacon from your local uh, grocery store. I'm gonna use one and a half egg, a full egg and uh, one egg yolk, and then a little bit of pecorino di fossa, but you could use uh, also parmigiano or just regular pecorino that you can find uh, in the stores, as well as uh, 80 grams of spaghetti. First things first, I'm gonna put my spaghetti in the water. They need the longest cooking time, so they're gonna go in first. After that, I'll switch on the fire under my pan and start cutting the pancetta. Once the pancetta is cut, I'm gonna put it in. So as you can see here, I left it in quite big chunks, I would say, and that's because I like it more. Now in the meantime that the pancetta is cooking, on the side, I'm gonna drop my eggs in a larger bowl and grate a little bit of pecorino. And with the use of a fork, I'm gonna give it a good mix. Maybe even a little bit more pecorino. When the eggs are at this stage, I'm gonna take a little bit of cooking water, just put it inside and give it a mix. Now by doing this you prevent the eggs from uh, coagulating, which means they're gonna become scrambled and big chunks and that's gonna ruin your carbonara dish. So you always want to add a little bit of water in it. Oh look at that. Quite smoky. Now that our spaghetti are ready, I'm just gonna switch on the fire to the pan again. Get my pot closer and just move the spaghetti inside. And I will add probably a third of a ladle. And give it a good mix around. Mm, look at that. Now that all my water is nice and absorbed, I'm gonna switch off the fire. And only at this point, I'm gonna go in with eggs and just super quickly mix them around. And just use the heat of the pan to cook the eggs. And remember, you don't want scrambled eggs, you want them to be nice and creamy. And just if needed, Give it a little blast of heat, but pay very good attention not to scramble them. And there we have it. And a little, little touch of extra water, just to get that creaminess out. Ladle, make a nice nest. Then take all the rest of it. And just like this, my friends, in less than 10 minutes, here we have our best and simplest carbonara recipe ever. Enjoy!